Hello everyone. Welcome you to the channel Ocean of Tech where I am Shahzeb Khan and today I am going to discuss with you about the audio copter which I am having here. This one is an audio copter. So sorry for that which I am means last one month I didn't upload any video on the channel so sorry, sorry for that from now I am going to upload videos so let's start discussion on audio copter so first of all I am going to tell you that this is the audio copter you can see over audio copter detail here and uh, this APM 2.6 is mounted over my quad copter which is uh, 450 here you can see 450 here is the receiver and uh, this is the stand of my gps so we'll talk how to uh, how to insert gps wired in apm and whatever procedure we'll talk later so here first of all i want to tell you that uh, the audio copter you can buy audio copter as well as audio pilot means in market you will be having the two types of um, audio pilot means two in type of APM like a audio copter and audio pilot so what is the difference between them two the difference is not means uh, uh, to not too much difference of uh, not too much difference only the difference is the changes of name like this is audio copter and that one is audio pilot so you can buy both or you can buy audio copter audio pilot they both work same yeah so i think you understand the difference between audio copter and audio pilot so let's take another topic like uh, first we'll discuss on power module means how to power my apm or how to power how do i how i would be do power my apm 2.6 or what you are having your uh, i don't know what your module number okay so you can power it by three ways first is the power module you can buy for apm like you can search on your online store that uh, apm power module then you can able to see a power module which can connect over here you can see pm means power module that will be the output of 3 amps 5 volt which is uh, the running voltage or the running uh, the, that apm needs that much only to run so the first one is power module you can buy and connect it directly over here and uh, uh, your audio pilot get powered out then the second one is your ESE the ESE which you have been used in your quadcopter or your flying machine that can also power your APM board like I have Simon K 30 amps ESE with the output of 3 volt 5 I uh, mean so sorry 3 ampere 5 volt BC or uh, my ESE contains 3 ampere 5 volt BSC which is enough for my audio copter so I powered it from my ESC also you can see over here the side connected my ESC one to get power my APM and I disconnected my all red wires you can see over here that 4 ESC will put out uh, 3 amps 3 amps that can be not too much dangerous but battery life can decrease for that so uh, the second one is your ESC if you are having the auto ESC then you cannot power APM by auto ESC or flash ESC or uh, the ESC which gives 1 ampere that you cannot power it by 1 ampere ESC so um, if you are having 1 ampere ESC so you, you will not able to power it APM because 1 ampere is not enough for APM so Mm, what is the third step you can take over to power the APM module is BSC you can buy a BSC which gives 3 amps 5 volt and you can connect BSC over any port you can see over here any port with the you can sign you can see there that middle one headers are positive and down one headers are negative you can power it 
any means you can put out uh, the BSC output anywhere sorry for that disturbance okay so I think you understand how to how you power your APM board this is the th three types you can meet three uh, easy where you can power your APM board now uh, that um, let's move to the another topic uh, like uh, how to connect your GPS I'm having this GPS with compass so the GPS have two types of wire you can see over here this blue and white goes to compass and this one is for GPS so you can insert this wire like GPS one will go to GPS and 12C means and um, I don't know what the meaning of C here but uh, sorry 12C means compass here so compass wire will go to the 12C port you can see over here this port this port so you can connect your GPS like that because APM 2.6 does not have inbuilt GPS and compass now the third topic we can uh, uh, means we discuss is telemetry what's telemetry port does mean so you can buy a telemetry of 915 megahertz or many one comes you can connect it here your telemetry and can get live information uh, to your uh, PC or mo uh, mobile phone like uh, how much battery percent remaining and uh, what the altitude the drone is running where uh, is the means uh, what's the uh, speed of the drone everything you can notify over your PC or your mobile phone now how to connect my receiver to the APM 2.6 port so I have this fly sky receiver you can see over here I connected it so this is receiver needs 5 volt current to get a start so I used this as you as you can see that middle one is positive and uh, the down one is negative then you can see over here I use this red and black wire for powering my fly sky receiver you can see over here this is this all are means the middle one is positive and down one is negative so you can power this by APM only so if you power like that you need to power only one port and then you can connect channel 1 wire 2 here you can see over here channel 1 then channel 2 wire you can see over here channel 2 channel 3 means you can connect channel wise to your APM inputs mean inputs connect to your receiver and outputs outputs goes to your ESC like I have connected here ESC1 ESC2 ESC3 and ESC4 and ESC1 I used to get power out my APM so these whole are the main points to know about APM before using it you can see over here a reset return button here the button is actually inside the frame so if you want to run your program again so do push this reset button and your program run means starting a start runs again now the APM have its forward position so you can see over here the forward is shown here means in front of me here so forward then the uh, my quadcopter front is these two arms these two arms is my quadcopter front and these two arms is my quadcopter back so this is my left and this is my right side so this is the forward one I think you understand the APM fully so thanks for watching this video guys subscribe to the channel and stay tuned for more tech videos have a nice day guys bye bye